Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back to more Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we caught Raiko in a Master Ball and came here to the Cerulean Cave to catch yet another legendary Pokemon. And in this episode, we're going to be doing just that, catching this really difficult Pokemon. But before we go and get started with that, I have a very special guest that will help me throughout this fight, so explain who you are, good sir. Hello everybody, well, I am Salmons 100 and I'm going to make this easier for no particular reason. Um, hopefully he has luck of everything. So, starting off this battle, I'm going to lead off with Dragon because of Thunder Wave shenanigans. And let's go! This thing. Alright, let me just explain. This thing gave me a lot of troubles. I tried recording this before with him and we just com I just completely just got screwed by this thing. But, we'll see how it goes! Alright, so I should probably explain. Mewtwo, level 70. Psychic type, uh, pressure for its ability. Psychic, Safeguard, Swift, and Recover. Those are its moves. All day. Yes, <laughs> uh, except what he's not telling you is that he researched this beforehand and had the completely wrong move set. And so he was surprised when he saw that it had Recover. Beforehand, he was all, oh, it doesn't have Recover. This is going to be super easy. But sure enough, here we are with a Mewtwo that knows Recover. Yep, and it's paralyzed now, so we shouldn't have too many problems. It goes for Recover. Here we go. So half the battle of trying to catch this Mewtwo is the fact that it has Recover. Basically, it's just going to take all the progress I've made trying to weaken it and make my life very upsetting. And it has Swift, which doesn't really do anything anyway. Dragon Claw is going to go in for days, though, even though it has no effect besides being a Dragon-type move. And it's paralyzed. Okay, so the Wing Attack should make it in the red and not kill it. Okay, good. Ooh, all right. That's nice. We're good. We're good. All right, let's start. You know what? Pokeball, let's go. Might as well. Yep. Nothing can get any worse at really? this point. One, two, three. Dude, what? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jamie. I hate you. I hate you so much. <laughs> First ball. Well, with a Pokeball! <laughs> I don't think you have anything else planned for this episode, do you? <laughs> nope. Didn't think so. Well... <laughs> so what now? <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was... Guys, yeah. so I was planning on this episode being, like, forever, and I figured he would come in here and make this a little bit easier, not <laughs> expecting that he would literally make this the easiest thing with a Pokeball first try on a Mewtwo. This is literally the low point of my life. I'm let me completely put it, done. Let me put this into perspective. An Ultra Ball at low health with Paralysis would have been a 4% chance of capture for that Mewtwo. But let's let that sink in for a second. What a, An Ultra Ball is what? 2.5 2 times the power of a Pokeball. I thought it was 2 times. 2 point... Ah, uh, ah, uh, that might be true. It might be 2. But basically, it's it's like 2%, I don't know what it is, but we caught Mewtwo, and everything's good, and we are all good. <laughs> Ugh, Jesus. And you are here to see this happen. You are my witness. All the days. That's great. <laughs> I Except feel like I also witnessed you completely suck at it the first time. Yup. So, Alright, here's yeah. this Mewtwo that's modest. <laughs> Dude! That's not even right. Oh my no. god, the best Stop possible nature no. for this Mewtwo. And here we go. Wow, that Swift is like recover. the best capture in the whole entire game right there. Yes, this is also super stupid. So with the video being five minutes, I guess before we end things off here, I'm gonna go ahead and heal up my Pokemon from whatever took damage, I think it was his dragon, and then I'm gonna go buy some healing items and everything, because next time, it's the Elite Four again. And that's pretty much the ending stretch of this whole game. So, before I even do that, I'm gonna go ahead and sell some things. Um, anything you wanna talk about before this episode gets ended? Uh, well, I was gonna say, if you have an Umbreon, it would be a good idea to use it on Mew too if you're having trouble because it's, it resists or it doesn't get affected at Psychic at all and Swift will be next to nothing to it so that'd be a cheap tactic but apparently 
It doesn't even matter. You just <laughs> throw a freaking Pokeball at it when it's in red, and you're good. It really doesn't even matter. It just doesn't matter anymore. It's like it's over. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy some revives here. I think 20, 30, 25, I think is enough. And then, how many full heals do I have? 8? I'll buy... I'll buy 20. And then, the rest of my money can go towards... I guess full restores? I could buy... A, I, yeah, I'm gonna use all of my money here. Because clearly I have plenty of money. So... That's going to be it. Next time in Pokemon Leaf Green, we're going back into the Elite Four and tackling down the second round because it's a lot harder than the first. So, with this incredibly short video, um, thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you next time for more Pokemon Leaf Green. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs>